The problem says a 5,000 seat theater has tickets for sale at prices of $25 and $40. How many tickets should be sold at each price for a sellout performance to generate total revenue of $155,000? Okay, how many things are we being asked to find here? Two. We're being asked to find how many tickets are sold at the $25 price and how many tickets are sold at the $40 price. So since we're being asked to find two things, we need two variables and I will use Y and X. Let's let X equal the number of tickets sold at the $25 price and let's let y equal the number of tickets sold at the $40 price. Whenever you have two variables to find the values of each, you need two equations. Well, notice they're telling us that we have a sellout performance. If we have a sellout performance, how many tickets of both kinds were sold? 5,000, the capacity of the theater. So the number of $25 tickets plus the number of $40 tickets has to equal the total number of tickets sold, which for a sellout would have to be 5,000. That's going to be one of our equations. If you're ever having trouble finding the second equation, ask yourself the question, what's the only information in the problem we haven't used yet? and that is the total revenue of 155,000. So that means the revenue from the $25 tickets plus the revenue from the $40 tickets has to equal your total revenue of $155,000. Well, what is the revenue from the $25 tickets? Well, if you sell one ticket, your revenue is $25. If you sell two $25 tickets, your revenue is $50. If you sell three $25 tickets, your revenue is $75. So your revenue is going to be 25 times the number of $25 tickets. And the first thing we wrote up here told us that the number of $25 tickets was X. So that revenue is going to be 25X plus the revenue from the $40 tickets. If you sell one $40 ticket, your revenue is $40. If you sell two $40 tickets, your revenue is $80. If you sell three $40 tickets, your revenue is $120. In other words, your revenue is 40 times the number of tickets sold at $40, which is what we're calling Y, and here is your second equation. And so you now get a system of two equations and two variables, which you can solve by either substitution or elimination. You'll get the same answer either way as long as you do them correctly. I'm going to do substitution, and I'm going to start by taking my first equation and solving it for y by subtracting x from both sides of the equation. Remember, with the substitution method, if you solve the first equation, you substitute into the equation you did not solve. So I recopy the second equation, except where it used to have the y, y is going to get replaced by what it's equal to, which is 5,000 minus x. Now we have equation with one variable in it, which we know how to solve. Let's get rid of the parentheses by distributing the 40. 40 times 5,000 is 200,000. 40 times negative x is negative 40x. Now we have like terms on the left side. Combining the 25x 
with the minus 40x gives us negative 15x. You still have the plus 200,000 and equals the 155,000. Now, to get that negative 15x term by itself, I'm going to subtract 200,000 from both sides. 155,000 minus 200,000 on your calculator gives you negative 45,000. And now we have to get rid of the times negative 15. And so we're going to divide both sides by negative 15. On your calculator, negative 45,000 divided by negative 15 is positive 3,000. So we now know one of the two things we were trying to find. So to find y, what we're going to do is we're going to take this 3,000 we just found and plug it back into either of the original equations or most easily plug it back into the equation which is already solved for y. So you get y equals instead of 5,000 minus x, now that we know that x is 3,000, you get y equals 5,000 minus 3,000 or 2,000. Remember, you always answer a word problem in words. So let's now answer the question we were asked. It asked us how many tickets should be sold at each price. So sell 3,000 tickets at which price? Remember, x is 3,000, and if you go back to the let statement, x was the ticket sold at $25 and sell 2,000 tickets at the $40 price. So there's four steps to solving a word problem. Step one is your let statement. Step two are to write your system of equations. Step three is to solve the system of equations. And step four is to answer the question you were asked in words. On a test of the work I showed here, the only thing you don't have to write is what I wrote in red. All of the remainder of this work needs to be shown.